What's going on everybody? We've got another rapid disc review for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Discmania drop. Not the new drop from Discmania, but the new Discmania drop. I don't know if that made sense in my head before I said it on camera, but now it, now it just sounds weird. Anyway, we're going to be taking a look at the drop today. It's supposed to be an overstable approach disc coming out from Discmania. So we've got the Zone to compare it to, Crystal Flex Get Freaky, and the Castplast K1 Soft Yarn. As some of you long-term viewers may know, I'm not the hugest fan of the Zone. I think it's slightly not stable enough. That's where I like the K1 yarn. It feels just like a Zone. I love the plastic and it's slightly more overstable than the Zone. I have a big ha bad habit of chopping over on my forehands, even on short approaches and stuff like that. And if I do try to hyzer it, I put way too much. That's where I need something like the Cast Plus yarn to be a little bit more overstable than the Zone. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see if this Discmania drop can compare to that or if it's just another Zone. This thing feels just like a zone. Um, I'll show you guys the side profiles real quick. So we've got the zone on the right. I think it might actually even be a little thinner than the zone. So we'll compare that to the Castaplast yarn. And I think the yarn has a little bit more of like a blunt edge right here, but is also thin, thinner than the zone. So we're gonna be tossing these out there. I'm gonna throw the drop first. We're gonna throw them on a backhand. I usually don't backhand zones. Uh, they're pretty much strictly a forehand approach disc for me. I usually don't backhand approach. I'm just not good at it. I'm better, more reliable at a little forehand chip approach when I'm in like 200 feet. So we'll probably do some of that today, mostly that, but we are also going to throw it on a backhand. So let's start out with the drop and we'll throw these out there afterwards to see how they compare. Um, this is also in a color glow sea line plastic. Now I will say I wouldn't check this out in the bathroom of uh, my house, got it real dark and hit it with a UV light. And this thing shines really well. Um, they've definitely improved on their color glow. Now, is it as good as MVP? I don't know. It's actually kind of glowing right here in the shade. I can I can see the glow. So that that's pretty that's pretty good. We're gonna give it a toss out there. We've got a little tailwind left to right going. So let's see what we can do. Okay. I kind of grip like that a little bit, but it held straight and had a nice dependable finish. I think it might be closer to the zone actually. So we'll give that a shot next. Oh, I feel like I didn't get the snap on the zone there for some reason. Something about maybe, I think it's cause the plastic is a little gummy, a little soft, just like this K1 soft yarn. So when you really go to power onto it, it's just kind of, it feels weird. It's hard to really get some snap on it. We'll try to get, do a little better with the yarn though here. Okay, got the snap. A little bit nice overstable finish i mean i'm not going to get any turn out of these discs we'll try to throw them on an anheuser but we'll probably do the anheuser chop uh, on a forehand all right guys we're hiding out in the shade over here it's getting a little warm but it has started to cool down here in florida a little bit i will say i got a really good rip on the drop there uh it went further than any of these other approach discs it actually went just as far as my straight flying mids did which if you guys are interested in checking out the video on the sea turtle we're doing that on the same day. It'll be posted in a few days. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Now's a great time. Okay, we've got a little headwind this time. We're gonna throw these discs on Anheuser, hopefully. <laughs> See if we can't get any turn out of them. Now these are overstable approach discs. So I'm not expecting to get too much turn out of them before they start to fight out. But we'll see, we do have a little headwind. So as I drop the drop, as I drop the drop. Anyway, see how we do, drop first. A little nose up but we did get a tiny bit of turn out of it i think if i didn't throw that nose up it would have been a way better throw i'm just not throwing that thing too well um now i do think it's not quite as overstable as the yarn the yarn is just kind of on a different level it's kind of in between a zone and like a zone os which is perfect for me because i hate the zone os we're going to throw the get freaky zone here and see if we can't get it a little bit more nose down well Definitely throw it nose down, straight to the ground. Ah, we'll just throw the yarn out there too, why not? See if we can't do a little better with my own approach disc. Yeah, that's a nice flat release right there. I don't know why I couldn't do that with the drop. We're gonna probably switch over to throwing it on some forehands, maybe actually at a basket, to show you guys how I would approach with these discs. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so we're just gonna play a little safari golf here. Um, I'd say, I'd guess it's probably about 200 feet, 220 to that basket down there. So it'd be the perfect shot for my yarn. This is where I would just throw it out there on a forehand, maybe a little bit of height, just let it do its thing. So we'll throw the drop first. 
Oh, we're gonna hit the tree. Dang. Still not bad. Probably about 15 foot there, 10 feet. We'll try that with the zone. I haven't forehanded a zone in a while. Maybe I should go back to it. That was nice. All right, throw the yarn now. See, there's that natural kind of chop that I do. I did it with the drop too. The thing, I think the zone I threw a little bit flatter, maybe a little bit of hyzer, which is why I didn't hit the tree and it got a little closer to the basket. That yarn is starting to get a little beat in. Had it in my bag for a while, so that might be why it pushes straight like the drop. Maybe it's not overstable as I thought. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. We're gonna throw these overstable approach discs now on some forehand chop and see how well they really fight out. I still am not 100% sure where the drop kind of falls in, whether it's less stable than the zone, more stable than the zone, the same stability as the zone. I can't really tell you. I will say it's a great flying disc. I think it might be a little bit more overstable because I think it's kind of flying more like my yarn. Either way, we are pretty much 10 feet from the basket here. The yarn is a little bit more outside because we did hit the tree, but that's okay. We're gonna throw it on some chop and see how they fight out. Okay, this will be the real test with these discs. We're gonna chop them over on a forehand. We're gonna start out with the drop like we've been doing. We're just kind of aiming at that porta potty down there. Maybe that bench, something around there. Nice little subtle turn and a good fade. That's everything you want out of an out of a uh, reliable approach disc right there. Yeah, that's really all you can ask for. I don't I don't know what else to say about that. That's a great uh, great approach disc right there. Now that I threw a little low, but I even threw it softer, and you can see how that zone just didn't want to fight out. Uh, it holds the turn. I mean, I threw it low. I didn't give it a chance to fight out, but I feel like I threw it softer, so it should have been more overstable because I didn't put more speed on it. I don't know. Let's do. Let's see how the yarn compares. Let's see if we can throw it a little better. Oh god, that was absolutely trash. But we threw the drop well, so that's all that matters. All right, guys. I know I didn't do do too justice on the forehand for these. We did throw the drop pretty good um, on that last forehand, so hope you guys enjoyed. We're gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. We had some old man try to run us out of the course today because a disc kind of went somewhat near him and he wanted to freak out. So that's okay, you know, it is what it is. Had a couple words to say with him. He had some words to say to me, so it is what it is. Y'all be friendly out here, okay? Nobody's, I'm not trying to throw a disc at you and hit you. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I did get a couple of good throws, so hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for future videos and to see the sea turtle video coming out where I actually almost hit the old man, but not really. I really didn't even come close to him. Anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.